Let's talk about the head and shoulders pattern. The head and shoulders is a reversal pattern or a bearish pattern. So you want to make sure you have a prior uptrend and uh, head and shoulder patterns. I've seen it quite a lot. It's very, very common. And because it's a reversal pattern, here's this uptrend that we have. So it starts going up, heads up, and here is our left shoulder that it makes. It makes a high right around here and it starts to go back down. Now on this high, the volume is high or it's greater than this next piece. It hits off of our support right here, bounces back, and now it goes back up. So now this would be our head that I like to think of it. Now on this uptrend right here, this uptrend for creating that head, that volume is actually going to be slightly lower or much lower than that left shoulder. And that's why it's a key or important to understand and spot this pattern because with weak volume, you're basically voting for the stock and people are not voting for it to go up higher. So with that low volume, it's kind of creating that head. Okay, so it starts to go back down, bounces once again off of that support, goes to that right shoulder this time and eventually trickles back down. Now, one cool thing to understand about this head and shoulders pattern is this is the neckline and usually, not always, but usually in order for a confirmation that it was a head and shoulders pattern, uh, sometimes right after this uh, droopy right shoulder, if it bounces and hits this line again, that line has now become, instead of support, it has become resistance at that level. So when it's hitting this and it's bouncing back down, that's one thing you have to watch out for because now all of a sudden the support became resistance. So it's bouncing down. And with that weak volume on the head side right here, um, right in this area, this is weak compared to this. So because this is greater, now less volume on an uptrend, that's no good. So it, if, it's, uh, if there's no volume, there's no conviction. And with people not voting for it to go up, then it won't, uh, it's not sustainable. So eventually it creates a right shoulder to retest this uh, support line or resistance line right over here. Creates that right shoulder and obviously it's not gonna make it because there's no sustainable volume. And it'll eventually dip back down and maybe retest this primary neckline uh, support or resistance. So that's pretty much the um, head and shoulders reversal pattern. Again, it's a bearish or a negative sentiment. How would you trade it? I mean, you can trade it in different areas. Typically what people do is they'll uh, wait for it till it breaks this uh, support or this neckline region and then do it on the downside. And you want to make sure that there's enough volume on the downside or the negative so that way um, you can be sure that it is a true conviction of that trade. Otherwise it might pop back up or pop through. So just make sure that it's, it's a really solid resistance line or a healthy neckline when you're trading that. And of course you can trade the, the peaks and the valleys of, of, it just depends on your time horizon. So the longer the time horizon, let's say this is um, you know, a three month pattern, it's healthier than if it was a, uh, a two day, three minute chart pattern, okay? So keep that in mind, is it's always based on that time scale. So that's how uh, you trade the uh, head and shoulders pattern and that's what it is on the basic fundamental level. So keep an eye out on the volume side and make sure that the volume is less than the left shoulder volume in order for it to kind of see that negative, um, ne negative trend coming up for the head and shoulders pattern.